the job more by more When I'm falling out Rolls in my name No way you fall out Tell me jump in the sand though Don't try to see If you really got them love handles Then we can keep it rolling All night like a band do Come and holla at me We can go get candles like my brake lights or anything like that it was pretty minimal but yep so that's why I have this car it's gonna probably be like a week to get my car situated honestly as I'm driving this one I'm kind of like wanting to consider a new vehicle all right guys it's Sunday I got a few things out here chili powder I got some sazon Crushed red pepper, black pepper, Cholula, extra virgin olive oil, and onion powder. I've got some pink beans in here, and a hawk, because I'm going to be slow cooking those down. I'm going to add in some onion and fresh garlic. Unfortunately, I am out of cumin, but it's Sunday dinner, y'all. It's going down. Alright guys, so we got our fried plantains here, we've got some chicken broth, Randall is chopping up an onion, we got our pork cracklings, chicharrones, and our sazon. So the camera died and I had to switch gears, but Randall's got the onions all chopped up. Oh, 
up. Pork crackling. She channel on this. And we're just gonna mash. Every, oh, we're missing the garlic. Gotta chop up the garlic. Technique, tried and true, it works. So that's what we're doing. Stop laughing, <laughs> it works. So, oh, stuffing once you mash it up. You still got a little bit of chunks here and there, but good consistency. All right, guys, we'll come back to you when we're going to stuff our chicken and wrap it in banana leaves to put it on the smoker. All right. All right, guys, so I've been on the mobile. I am headed to go get some pellets for our smoker. Oh, and I've got a heck of a life update for you guys. All right, stay tuned. We're going to finish up this Mofungo stuffed smoked chicken. And we've got rice and beans and it's going down. All right, guys, I'll be back. All right, so these are the banana leaves. It's my first time. Oh, oh sorry, guys. It's my first time working with them, and let me tell you, this thing is huge. And it has a really earthy smell when you take it out of the bag, so you are definitely going to want to wash these, um, which it does advise that you disinfect and wash before using. Um, yeah, this thing is like, it's huge. I don't even know <laughs> where to start. It's my first time working with Banana leaf, uh, this part right here, I don't know, I might discard it. It's looking a little funky. Mm, just probably use the green part. But yeah, I'm gonna get to washing these and I will come back to you guys. All right. Okay, so our chicken has been marinating with cilantro and mojo criollo. Sorry, I always struggle with that. I know, I know. But yeah, it's been soaking in the mojo criollo. And yes, I do have a recipe that I follow from scratch. But today, I did shortcut. And, but I used the store-bought, I'll uh, post it in the corner which one I use for marinade. So it's been soaking in mojo and it's been about six hours. And there's some cilantro in the cavity. I'll probably add some uh, fresh garlic and onion in the cavity. Well, no, I'm adding them a fungo in the cavity. And um, we're going to get it wrapped in the banana leaves. All right, guys, so I'm going to take a little bit of salt and sazon. And I'll add a little bit of um, olive oil to the skin so it'll have a nice and flavorful. Again, because a lot of times I find that the mojo marinade gets through to the meat, but it's always good to season your skin again before you put it on the grill. Now I'm going to start to stuff it. I might have Randall stuff it. I'm going to stuff it with the mofongo. 
the cavity. Where you want me to go? I can do it. I'm gonna start stuffing the fungal in the cavity. turkeys I mean not turkey that's gonna help our chicken, chicken stay nice and moist I'm thinking of them again when they used it in uh, the Both turkey seven. yeah so there we go guys it's all ready to start getting wrapped in the banana leaves yeah all right so I have no idea what I'm doing but I'm gonna try to do it so I'm gonna start here Kind of like tuck and fold. Start here and kind of like tuck and fold. Gonna treat it kind of like wrapping a present a little bit. Then I've got another leaf here. So I'm just gonna take that. Kind of like try to tuck and fold here probably a better way to do this and what I'm finding is you probably want to get two picks because this looks like it uh, definitely tears, tears easily so I have one more because I have a gaping hole here I'm gonna try to cover my hole Also, still um, pretty wet. There we go. And this is going to go out on the smoker. I think that's good enough. What you think? Yep. It looks good to me. Alright, first time using banana leaves. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> So it's going on the grill for a high smoke. And be on here until it's done. Come back. About, about an hour or so. Kids out here playing, enjoying their three day weekend. So that's why you all hear them screaming in the background. But it's going down. Randall's setting it to high smoke over there. All right, guys. So here's the, ooh, they're fogging up. Fogging up my lens, but there's the beans going. I did add a small can of tomato paste to them, and they smell amazing. The onions have caramelized, and it looks really good, guys. Sorry for it fogging up the lens. <laughs> Yeah, the onions have caramelized. Lots of good flavor in there, guys. So the chicken is off the grill now. And I'm just going to let it cool before I unwrap the banana leaves. There it is. Work 
working with. I think I want to put it out there though. I want it to get, it looks really like juicy. But I want it to get a little bit of a nice like color. So I'm going to let it go back out. I'm going to let it go back out and get a little bit of a sear to it. I think it can go for a little bit longer. I think we might have miscalculated the hour there, guys. All right, so this is the end result. Honestly, guys, we just wanted it to get a little sear because the chicken was looking a little bit too light. So this is the end result. You can see the mofongo in there. Come on, focus. And there's our chicken, a beautiful bird. Nice. Nice color. Nice golden Amazing brown. Amazing color. Yeah, I like it. All right. Randall's gonna get everything plated up for us and steam some rice. And next time we come back to you guys, everything will be all plated up and looking pretty. All right, guys. All right, guys, there you have it. Randall just got it all plated up all nicely for us. A couple of little wings. We got the beans and yellow rice and the fungo. So there you have it, guys. End of the night. And we finally finished cooking our meal. All right, good night, guys. <laughs>